friends, my name is Vijay Kumar and we are studying Neptunization and Air Conditioning. In the last video, we have seen that cytometric processes. Now in this video, we will see air washers. In air washers, various types of processes like cooling, heating, humidification, dehumidification, cooling and humidification, like this, all the type of processes we can achieve in air washers. You see, here, what is air washer? It involves the flow of air through a air spray of water. That means, air is flowing and on air we are spraying water. Spray of water. Air is flowing and on the air we are spraying only, we are spraying water. Okay. During the course of flow, air may be cooled. During the flow, air may cool. Heat and humidified, may be humidified. Then dehumidified, that means, humidified means adding of moisture. Dehumidified means removing of moisture from the air. Simply adiabatic saturated. That means add, adding the moisture, but up to this saturation level, adiabatically. Okay. Now, depending on the mean surface temperature of water, all these things, all the process like cooling, heating, humidification, dehumidification, or simply adiabatically saturated, all these will depend on mean surface temperature of water. The mean surface temperature of water. Let's see what is that. Here is the diagram of air washer. Here is the diagram of air washer. Air is entering into this air washer. These are the eliminator plates. These are the eliminator plates. These eliminator, eliminator plates helps to protect the moisture. For this air, air is going into this washer. These eliminator, eliminator plates hold the moisture content. Here, water droplets, or you can say it will protect the water droplets to go in and to go out. These are the eliminator plates. Now, and this is the air washer. This is water. This is water. This water is taken by a pump. What I call as pump. This is a recirculation pump. This is recirculation pump. Why is recirculation? I will tell you. This pump will give, this pump will send the water to a heater or cooler. That means, Externally heated, it is an equipment in which this water may be heated or may be cooled externally. Then this water will go to the air washer. In air washer, it stays there. As I already told that in air washer, we are spraying water on air. From this sprayers. We will spread water to the air which is coming in the air washer. Like this. This is the air coming into air washer and we are spraying air water on this air washer. Now this water may heat the air, may humidify the air, may cool the air, may dehumidify the air or both or combination of all the things like cooling, humidification, heating, dehumidification, all these processes we will achieve with the air washer. Okay, this depends on the mean surface temperature of water. That means this is the mean surface of water. This is the surface temperature, or you can say temperature of water. Temperature of water, it depends on yes. Now this air will go to the, will go out, again these element, eliminator plates will protect or remove the droplets 
and the air will go out. This one is the make of water line. Okay, why this pump is called recirculated? Recirculation pump because this water is going and it is staying again. This is collected and again this pump is flowing back to the sphere. So this pump is a recirculation pump. This one is the make of water. You know very well that this air will take some water and these aluminator plates, it is not 100%, has not 100% efficiency. So, so it, there may be a possibility that some air may get the water, may air will take the water or will carry the water outside. In that case, in air washer, water quantity will go down. That's why this make of water is used. If water level is down, then this is the level indicator. This is the level indicator. If water level is going down, this level indicator will sense the level of water. Then this will open this wall. It will open this wall. As this wall is open, make of water will go into the air washer. And the water level of in the air washer will rise. As this will rise and it will again sense that now it is okay, then this wall will close. By this make of water line, we can add water or water to the air washer. So friends, I have already I have told that how the air washer works. Now we will see all the process like cooling, heating, humidification, humidification, all psychrometric charge. Let's see all the processes of air washer on psychrometric charge. Let's see all the process in air washer. One by one we will see all the process on psychrometric charge. Let's see first process, heating and humidification. Heating and humidification. As you know that in heating, Temperature of air will increase. Humidification that means moisture content of air will increase. So by spraying the water on the air, temperature and moisture content in the air will increase. But at what condition it will increase? You will see. This is process 1 to A. That means 1 to A. This is a process of heating and humidification. You can see. Temperature is increasing and omega is also increasing. That means heating and humidification is occurring. That means moisture is adding in the air. For this condition, what should be the temperature? For this condition, temperature of water, that means surface temperature of water should be greater than inlet temperature P1 and P1 is dry bulb temperature of air. The air which is entering into the air washer, that is T1 and that is dry bulb temperature. So, surface temperature should be greater than dry bulb temperature. This is the condition for process 1 to Now, let's see the second process, humidification. Second process is humidification. Humidification, I already told that it occurs at constant temperature. Humidification occurs at constant temperature. That means 1 to V. You can see here that P1 at constant temperature, this process is occurring. That means at constant dry bulb temperature, this process will follow. In this case, there is no increase in temperature. Only moisture will increase in the air. So, what is the condition for this case? The surface temperature equal, should be equal to dry bulb temperature. If I write here, this is P1. The surface temperature of water should be equal to temperature of inlet air. That means dry bulb temperature. Now let's see the third process, cooling and humidification. Cooling and humidification. As the name shows that cooling, that means temperature of air is decrease and humidification that means moisture content in the air is increasing so process 1 to C you can see here that the temperature is reducing because 
driver temperature will increase in this direction, direction and it will decrease in this direction. So, 1 to C, temperature is reducing. 1 to C, omega is increasing. That means moisture is adding. So, 1 to C is a cooling and humidification process. What should be the condition for this case? Press C here, process 1 to D. Process 1 to D. This process is a constant enthalpy process. I'll explain this one, but just listen. This is a constant enthalpy process, or this line is a constant wet bulb temperature line. This is a constant wet bulb temperature line. So this is this point is one. This point is the wet bulb temperature, adiabatic wet bulb temperature, or wet bulb temperature. Because this is this process is occurring adiabatically, so it is called as adiabatic wet bulb temperature. So this point is a wet bulb temperature. I have written here the temperature for this point C should be greater than this point, this temperature, and should be less than this temperature. So at point C, the PS maybe that that is surface temperature should be greater than wet bulb temperature and should be less than this temperature. Here. Okay. Now let's see the. Next process adiabatic saturation. I already told that 1 to D is a adiabatic process. It is a adiabatic process. So this temperature will be the wet bulb temperature. So surface temperature of water Ts should be equal to wet bulb temperature for this case. Now let's see the next process cooling and humidification. Again the process this one and this one cooling and humidification. The difference is that this is process 1E. Now the difference between this and this is that in this case the surface temperature of water should be greater than dew point temperature and should be less than the this one wet bulb temperature. So in between this the surface temperature should should be the in the in between this point surface temperature of water lies like at this point E. This point is lying between T1 dash and T2. Okay, so the surface temperature should be less than T1 dash and should be greater greater than T2. And what is TD? TD is a dew point temperature. I have already told that at constant omega because dew point temperature line follow the constant omega line and this line starts from the saturation curve so this is the dew point temperature and this is wet bulb so the surface temperature for the case 1 to E the condition for temperature for process 1 to E is that the surface temperature of water should be greater than dew point temperature and should be less than this T1 dash that means wet bulb temperature. Let's see the next process cooling. Cooling is the process 1 to F that means 1 to F. In this case, cooling means the process of the addition of temperature or removing of temperature or decreasing of temperature at constant omega. That means we are adding heat or removing heat from the air at constant omega. So this is something like a sensible cooling process. So 1 to F is a sensible cooling process. Now in this case what is the temperature for, for water or surface temperature of water in this case this should be equal to the dew point temperature. This is the maximum point. The surface temperature of water should be equal to the dew point temperature of this curve. Now, in the next next case, cooling and dehumidification. This is the process cooling and dehumidification. Process 1 to G. This is a cooling and dehumidification. As you know that in cooling, temperature is decreasing and humidification. Omega is reducing. Omega is 
reducing and temperature is reducing that means temperature is decreasing that means it is cooling and omega is decreasing that means dehumidification that means removing of moisture from the air to achieve this condition temperature of surface water should be less than Pd that means dew point Friends, the temperature condition means that the surface temperature of water. All these conditions are for surface temperature of water, or you can say the water which we are spraying on the air. The temperature of the water which we are spraying on the air. These are the conditions for that for that water. To achieve all the processes in air washer, the surface temperature of water spray should follow these conditions. Otherwise, we will not be able to get these processes in air washing. Okay. Now, friends, in this video, we have seen the air washer and conditions of temperature of surface water, surface water temperature. In the next video, we will see the summer air condition and winter air condition. Thanks for watching this video and have a good day.